Welcome back to Primary Source China Investment. This week we're on show N4, and we're going to circle back to a little bit of the China tech because China tech is letting you down again. At the beginning of the year, recall China tech spiked, or at least those China tech names that people are most familiar with, and it's been a bit of a head fake. And while they jumped at the beginning of the year, at the end of COVID zero and a lot of the good news that was coming out,、uh, they've come back down, and now they're trading at the overall market. So the chart of ASHR, which is the CSI 300, and the chart of KWEB and MCHI, you can see they're really at the same point. Although ASHR has had a lot less volatility. At one point, MCHI was up almost 20 percent. Now it's up about five and a half percent. The same as A. ASHR. On the mainland, though, those names which are a lot less familiar is up 8.62 percent. We've talked about some of these names in the past, but if you look through this list, you know,、uh, Hikvision is is one name that's been in the press a little bit.、Uh, the U.S. government is really trying to to block any Hikvision products for the U.S. and Luxshare and iFlyTech. And also, the semiconductor name、um, is also come up a, a number of times in the in the in the press. But China tech is not limited to these Pinduoduo names and the Tencent and Alibaba. These are names that come up a lot, but it's not the only universe. Any thoughts on that, Pangguo? Um, yeah, China tech actually、uh, is unclear a term. So initially, it used to refer to like the internet company. Yeah. Baidu,、uh, Alibaba,、uh, whatever,、uh, internet related. So th- they are pretty good. They they probably uh, uh, grow uh, uh, very big in the market compared to the、uh, United States, like the Amazon, Google,、uh, some companies. After、uh, after that wave,、uh, China is the、um, is the only wave to grow very big、uh, internet companies. So all those companies.、Uh, Drive the China tech areas、uh, grows quickly, like the cloud, uh, uh, like the server area or、uh, some manufacturing,、uh, high end manufacturing area. So which is good. I think、uh, right now China tech is much broader than the、uh, internet company right now. Like KeyWeb, they still focus on the、um, uh, a small area. So. Uh, and、uh, and that that they call from the soft、um, tech to the hard tech. <laughs> so right now it's more like a hard tech area. So you know, every successful companies、uh, there are tons of the field one. So that is uh, uh, quite normal. <laughs> yeah, and a, a lot of these a lot of these names in in the U.S. listed or Hong Kong listed names are familiar: Tencent, Alibaba, Jindong, JD. dot com, and Meituan. Those four names make up more than thirty percent of KWeb. So those four names—they're big tech companies. There's no doubt, but they suck a lot of the oxygen out of the room. And on the mainland, these these names don't trade. So when people are accessing China Tech, or even broadly speaking, you have to understand what you're owning. And I I think there's a big misconnect. Exactly. In the market. Yeah. Yeah.、Um, so an, another couple of industries that that have、uh, that have performed or or not performed since the beginning of the year.、Um, Basic materials that's up on the mainland. That's up ten point nine percent year to date. And you know there's some mining and metals and chemical companies in there. We'll we'll put up a list of that. And recall, Pungwa mentioned travel、uh, earlier on the year. We said what you know what what's the theme for for twenty twenty three? Travel、uh, really coming back after the COVID zero was lifted and and checking. We see it's down three point four four percent year to date. But very recently, it had a big spike. I'm not saying it coincides with your call, Pungua, but it does look like <laughs> it does look like travel is really a revenge、uh, growth. So after that, it's get a, like a short, uh, 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 short impulse、uh, to to grow.、Uh, it's not quite sustainable、uh, because of the travel, like, like the airline company. So they have a, they suffered a huge loss during the past three years. Uh, so even they have the short term, uh, uh, it really bounce back quickly. Yeah,、uh, for the short term, you can see that's very steep. Uh, but、um, for the long run, uh, uh, it's unclear. So how they get survived,、uh, or how they、uh, digested the huge loss.、Mm. 
Yeah, there's there's some other names that are tangentially involved. You know, some of the hotel names and some of the online booking companies and things like that. Those are some some interesting names to to look at going forward. Um, be, before we that's we right. Cut, yeah. be, before we cut out, I, I wanted to mention something else that has been coming through the news a lot, and it's this this idea of opening up and 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 changing the regulatory environment. And there was recent news about BlackRock. So. Recall in 2021, I think June of 2021, BlackRock was given a license to operate its wholly owned asset manager in China. So that was in June of 2021. It's important to get the timing here. They also have a joint venture with Bank of China, which they've been operating since 2006. So now they have two entities. Their new entity since 2001 has amassed 5.4 billion renminbi. So um, less than a billion US dollars. And if you look at the ranking of that, out of the 200 licensed fund managers, BlackRock's new entity is ranked 142nd. So that goes to show how difficult it is to compete in the business of managing money on the mainland. Because BlackRock, the largest asset manager on the planet, nine trillion under management, can only raise 5.4 billion renminbi on the mainland and ranks 142nd. It's not because they don't have a name. Recall they've been in China since 2006 with that joint venture with Bank of China. It's just a lot of competition and your brand may not be as important as you think it is when you go to China. Uh, that's exactly right. So that's a, I think a global players are all in China right now. <laughs> Uh, and it, it's uh, pretty hard. And uh, uh, but from China investors, they don't really care. They just care if you can make the money or you can bid as uh, uh, CS three hundred or <laughs> yeah, it's, it's not a lot. Of, not a lot of not a lot of loyalty. I mean, we've beaten up on J P Morgan in the past, and how you know their their competition with China Merchants Bank. You know, China Merchants Bank has wiped the floor with them. And and we're not here to beat up these foreign brands. It's just. It's just give a little bit of perspective about what it's like managing money on the mainland. So there is there is a lot of competition. It's not like a wide open spaces for, for foreign firms to go enter. So with that, we're going to leave it uh, for show N4. Thanks for tuning in. Appreciate you being here. Thank you.